All right, guys. Just finished off chapter one. Let's move on to chapter two. Starto! Uh, you guys want to see the opening? Yeah, I'm sure you guys do. Thank you. Whew. That should just be just about do it. I hate being in charge of the gym equipment. All because of stupid co ed meet in two days. Why can't the boys' class rep take care of the grunt work? <laughs> Yeah. Freaking Kishinuma. Doesn't even know what a delicate flower I am. Most I've most I've ever had to lift before was chopsticks. And he expects me to lug around a damn pommel horse. Oh go. Now me. That is one pretty sight. Huh? What is? What is? Get booty, you got yeah. <laughs> what? Yours is way cuter. Mine's all plump like a duck's. What are you saying? You got what they call childbearing hips. It's a good thing. I mean, when you get older, you can pump out all these babies, all the babies you want, with the greatest of ease. I'm actually kind of happy to hear you say that. <laughs> you do have a certain motherly, motherly quality to you, Naomi. It's no wonder you're good with kids. But of course, I'm hoping to raise four children one day. It sounds like you'll be making some lucky guy real happy. Hmm? Chop the toe. Isn't that Nakashima's voice? She has, she was screaming. <laughs> Shirazaki, it's all right, please calm down. But you heard it too outside. Your voice. I did. I think she's hyperventilating. I need to try to calm her breathing before she passes out. It probably wasn't a real voice. I'm sure it was just sounding like it just sounded like one. Maybe it was the building sound. I'll go check it out though, and see if I could figure out what it was for sure. You two stay right here, okay? It's just here, don't wait! Don't leave us! Shinazaki. Hey, uh, it's okay, teacher. I'll keep an eye on Shinazaki. Okay. Or, better yet, how about I go take a look and you, you wait here? A chance until I can verify everyone's safety. I want you. I want to keep you two out of harm's way. Oh well. Okay, I guess. Be careful though. No! Look, she'll be fine. Jeez. I'm counting on you, Kishinuma. I'll be back in no time. No problem. Scared. My legs are even shaking. I have no idea what's going on. My head's spinning. 
can't make sense of anything. My chest hurts like my heart is encased in ice, and I can't shake the dizziness or this nausea. But when I think about the possibility of something happening, something horrible happening to my dear students, I can't feel even a newfound energy welling up from within me. I feel like it's nothing else. I feel like, if nothing else, I can at least play the part of a level-headed adult. Valor. Thy name is Education. Ooh. Miss Yui's. All about kicking some ghosts at butt. Thing. Power stone. Yeah, there you go. It's Yui. Oh, I forgot. Uh, I think uh, that really was a scream we heard. Hmm? Did you find something? Yeah, some kind of gemstone lying on the ground. It looks like a ruby or uh no, probably an amethyst. Kishinuma, you can identify gemstones? No, not really. Shinzaki's the one to ask for that kind of stuff. Is that so? Well then maybe I should give it to her. I guess now now's probably not the best time for you. But will you take it and give it to her at once she's calmed down a bit? It might make her feel a little better. No problem, Teach. Hand it over to the power stone. Okay. So, right there. That right there? Giving the power, power stone to Shinazaki. Actually, um, if you don't do it and Miss Yui keeps it, then that you're in a fail state. <laughs> you might as well start all over and Yeah. It's like you, you can't you can't beat you can't beat chapter two after that. It's done. Now teach us the lab. Now teach us the lab and let's live slower. got that one newspaper clipping. Oh. Well, if the dissenters teach her all by herself, you decided to stop shaking and quivering with the other two back at a 1A, did ya? <laughs> I'll have you know I heard one of my students screaming and have set out to find her. I see. Regrettably, as I keep telling people, that won't be possible. The school exists in a nexus where multiple dimensions overlap. It's but a single closed space in a sea of closed spaces. In other words, even though you may be in the same school as your screaming student, you and she occupy different dimensions. Which means 
You two can never meet. If one of you dies, perhaps your body or your spirit may move from one space to another. Or, maybe you can find some means of traversing the plains freely as they do. Dots. Consider this a fair warning. Even if you should find the exact spot from which students are screaming and them emanating, she herself may not be there. And if she isn't, there is not a thing you can do about it. But, I heard her voice. <laughs> it is true that other children have been brought here quite recently. Children who, by all appearances, are indeed your students. But, as I suggested, time and space do not behave as you'd assume here. They, what them say is, fragmented. You say you heard a scream that may have taken place only a few minutes ago. Or perhaps it occurred in another space many hours previous. It may even be in an echo from the future. Who to, who's to say? With this phenomenon as it is, as it is it's entirely possible for you two to close spaces to have some small influence on one another, even when out of sight. Doesn't matter. I can't just ignore that and agonizing scream and go on my merry way. Step aside. Could have said please, Miss Yui. It's not nice. Step aside. Who in the cockpit and F's do you think you are? How about you just F off, you damned corporeal? An earthquake. Eek. All the world, the most vile and trustworthy individual of them all, are you school teachers. All you care about is your own well-being. You're not worried about your students, you're just worried about being held responsible if something should happen to them. <laughs> this really hurts. This really, really hurts. You're all the same, every last one of you. And I don't be taking it on your own lies anymore. Take it in. Well, if you see a problem among your kids, you just keep your distance because you sure wouldn't want to be getting involved. You have to keep up appearances, right? You just pick out the problem child and chip away at them little by little until they either drop out or get expelled. You got no discipline in them. You're just ra ra ragging, raging, raging at them. That's, that's not. I've never met a teacher who actually cared about students. Not once. You, you you're wrong. <laughs> oh, you. All of your students are destined to starve to death in these golf striking halls if they don't succumb to depression and kill themselves first. There's no other possible outcome. They all die mainly death, just like I did. They sure won't be thinking about you when they take their final breath. <laughs> Any last words? Danger. I'll tell them, I'll tell them to your students as I end their miserable lives. Spare. <laughs> Come again. Spare my students. What was that? Please, I don't care what happens to me, just please spare their lives. 
they're not your children. You're not their mother. And are you really still pretending to care about them? Filthy liar, did you know when I, when you died in this accursed place, you experienced the pain you felt at the very moment of your death for all eternity? And I'm going to crush you to dust. The pain be, must be unbearable unimaginable and you're going to feel the pain every moment of your day forevermore <laughs> I should be to spare you it's what you really want isn't it be honest with me I'll consider fair your life don't you harm a hair on their heads you hear me Oh, you poor baby. Your course will look just like a dead frog on the side of the road. Never funny. Live. I love you all. Meanwhile. Whoa, another earthquake! I think it's over. What's wrong? I just got a really bad feeling. We've got to reach Miss Shini Shishido. What if she comes back? Well, we're gone. We miss each other along the way. Where are you going? All right, all right, I'm ready. But we don't have any luck finding her. Let's just make sure we come back to this room, okay? I need to come up with a different. <laughs> I need to come up with a different voice for you, Shiki. Uh, I don't know. I'll just. I'll just talk these parts. And I'll act up the rare ghost ones. Because they can do whatever. <laughs> How about we leave her? No. Shinazaki, do you have anything with you I can write with? I've got a pen. But no paper, huh? Well, there's always a teacher's desk. Ms. Yui, we've gone to find you. If we pass each other and you see this message, wait right here, we'll be back. How's that? Blunt and kind of sloppy. It's your fault. We have to leave her a message at, at all, you know. But she might be in trouble. Okay, okay, just don't cry. We'll find her. Doors nailed shut. The nails are hammered in tight. It's not going to open through any normal means. This wasn't here, just the earthquake caused that to reappear, so. Oh, 
I just had a brainstorm. Glass Rep Shinazaki's famous scary time candles. There's not a student in 2-9 who isn't in intimately familiar with them, right? You kidding? There's not a student in our grade who hasn't seen them at least once. People call you the horror rep of Kisaragi for a reason. So how about... I lay these candles around and save, uh, save points. <laughs> Oops. Hmm. I'm trying to come up with that. I hope you guys can hear me better. Anyways, there's... Uh, there'll be like a signal for... Signal flares for Mochita and the others. Let them know that you and me and Miss Shishido are all here with them, safe and sound. Yeah, I guess. Seems more like she's just trying to reassure herself that she's okay. But if it makes her feel better. Come on, let's go. Okay. Okay. Boom. First save point of the game. Ooh. Ooh. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, God. I'm dying. Noni! These are human bones. Oh god. Oh no. Gas please. Gas please. Ooh. Are you okay, Sh Shinazaki? I'll be fine. I'm just hyperventilating a little. Cough. Cough. Come on. We have to find Miss Shishida. Yeah. How the hell is Satoshi? If he were here, I bet Shinzaki would be a whole lot calmer. What are you standing around for? Let's get out of here. Walk up. Uh, Did you just hear that? We have to get away from here. Okay. I just wanted to get those. I ate my friend today. What else is I supposed to do? I was starving. We both were, and there's no food here. So we decided together that one of us should try to live just a little bit longer. If I ever get home, I'm supposed to tell all the people waiting for us what happened. We left it all up to a game of paper, rock, scissors. Loser eats winner. And I lost. Wait, loser eats winner? I read that right. Did I read that right? I felt her blood going down my throat. Oh yeah, okay. And quenching my thirst. Her meat was supple and satisfying, but the blood and the meat was once my friend up until just a few hours before. I'd been talking with her. As I feasted, I just kept thinking this food used to be a person before I tore it all up. It all worked together to sustain my life. And every time I thought about that, I just started crying and I couldn't stop. I wanted some part of her to be with me, even after she died, so I decided to keep one of her eyeballs. And I thought maybe I should write all of this down to help preserve some small portion of my sanity. Hmm. I don't know, man. That's pretty insane.
the hell kind of classroom is this? I've... It's not like any classroom I've seen before. Hey, Shinazaki. I had splitting. Are you... Are you okay? We shouldn't be here. We really shouldn't be here. It looks like there's something in here, though, in the back. Oh, what the hell? Stay back! Yeah. Don't scare me like that, jeez! You absolutely positively must not look into his eyes. Ooh, okay. Uh, rusted, blood-soaked nail puller is sitting on top of the desk. Take it. Yes! Inquire nail puller. Must not look into his eyes. Just run away! Okay, so those things are gonna pop up, and those things are gonna be an obstacle. In the areas. So adjust that. Okay. Head east. Let's see what's over here. Ah, yes. Sister, after I die, the pain will continue forever. No, no, no. Okay. Uh oh. Gotta be like super careful. Just in case. Uh. What is it? Hey, where are you going? Uh, what the hell was that about? What's wrong? You're saying some pretty weird stuff just now, huh? Was she not aware? Must be the pressure. Her nerves are probably shot all to hell by now. Never mind, probably just my imagination. Don't worry about it. I hold in the 
the palm of my hand, a piece of a person's body, a person of, a piece of a person who was living and breathing only a short while ago. This body part used to be attached to their head, and now I'm walking around the school with it. I had no idea eyeballs were so heavy, and I just keep squishing it in my palm off my hand as if I was testing its firmness. Squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Ooh. Ooh, man. Look at me! How do I know where I'm going? Oh god. I'm just trying to get away from that guy. <laughs> uh... a dark spot on pages and realize it's tear, tear stains. Those who choose to ignore the darkness that dwell in the hearts of man may be stuck here forever in a loop. For in this world there are some truths that simply must be known, no matter how disturbing. But curiosity can be deadly and other truths are best left untold. Beware the measures, messages of the dead, for they are there be curses among them, curses that can crush even the strongest will, demolishing all semblance of reason. If you wish to protect your sanity, take heed. Do not let your curiosity get the best of you. Do not read the victim's memoir to their conclusion. <laughs> Three. I've been searching every last corner of a school building, trying to find a way to escape with her. But... I mean, it's not happening. No matter how much we struggle, only further misery awaits us. I'm so unbearably thirsty, so hungry that it feels like my stomach's eating itself. And every moment it gets worse. It's like a big black mass in front of me that's slowly closing in. I can't keep ignoring it. I started talking to the eyeball in my hand to help keep help stay focused and maintain my sanity. Stop looking at me like that. I swear I'll find a way out for us. I have to make sure I tell your family what you did for me. Cheers, boy. Sorry, sorry about that. I had a call. Thought it was important, but it wasn't. And save. 37 minutes even. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys, and we'll continue this another time. Have a good one.